The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take Take it to go. Go to Eric's family, bbq.com for more info. Time now to find out what all this stuff is that's going to be brand new. Fully legendary things because we are right in the heart of the 30 year anniversary of 44 days of 91, which I am telling everybody about. I'm fascinated by the whole thing. The albums that came out in a 44 day span. Ain't happening this week. No, it is not. It isn't happening in <laughs> 44 days either. You've been saying that for a long time. <laughs> it hasn't it's been, been much a long good. Time. <laughs> Metallica, Pearl Jam's 10, Nirvana's Nevermind, Soundgarden, Bad Motorfinger, uh, Guns N' Roses 1 and 2, Use Your Illusion. It's the other one. I always forget one. Uh, My buddy Chris Cotero wants to remind you that just outside of the 44 yeah, days. Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Yeah, Skid Row's uh, Slave for the oh, Grind yeah. came out in the June just before. It's still a great record, but it kind of was the end of the era for that and the beginning of the new thing. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oh, uh, well, Melon- oh, you know, one of the uh, Gish came out. Oh, yeah, Pumpkins. Pumpkins. I mean, it's 44 days of, like, your record collection. So we're waiting for that to happen again. It's the 30th anniversary of that, and it is, like, just... Is it today, Brett? Well, the countdown continues. The countdown Let's continues. Just- <laughs> we may have to wait for the 31st anniversary of the 44 <laughs> days of 91. Uh, but it needs to be a documentary. I think that needs to be a pure documentary of the way the day's music just completely took a swing in another direction. And rock music's last hurrah. Really. And it was a frenzy in Seattle. Just moving I can't there at that imagine. Time. It was, and, it, and it died quickly in Seattle when it was taken off everywhere else. Yeah. And it switched in Seattle, the music. It's amazing. So, yeah. But not just great songs coming out of that. Bad Motorfinger, 10. What uh, were the record sales between unreal. those two? It'd be interesting to see what it the no, Nelson, but I mean, full Jam. albums that Alice were just Chains put anything out that phenomenal. That year? I think Alice in Chains' Dirt came out that year, but I think it was early. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure Facelift was 89 or 90. Facelift was like the first one. They might have like Jar of Flies out at that point. Dirt might be later. Dirt might be a couple of later. I don't know. But yeah, it's just, it's an amazing little span I'm, I've been marveling at as the anniversary is upon us. Now it's time to find out what's out today. Facelift like, was August 1990. Facelift was 90? So August 1990. Okay, so then. A year earlier. Like 92 or 93, Dirt. But that was a great record, too, the year before. Uh, it is, uh, let's find out what's released. Who's going first? Toledo, you want to go first? <laughs> I'll go first. All right, what do you got? All right, uh, on Netflix, or first off, there's there's really no games. Now, hold on. Yeah. on. What did Brady, we watched that Val Kilmer thing? Yeah, the doctor. What was that on? That was on we, HBO, I believe. How do we, we not did, know about these things? Did we, did we do that? that? Oh, yeah, okay. we did that a few yeah, weeks ago. I wasn't paying attention. Um, it, I drift the, off. I think we said the trailer didn't really look that that yeah, interesting. Brady, it's like good. It. Is like it good? Yeah, it's really good. I saw it. I think it's on Netflix or Prime too. I don't know that I like Val Kilmer that, that much. I, yeah, <laughs> he's too associated to Jim Morrison. To me. And it's, you know, he goes over all that stuff. But it's uh, it's good because you, it's not about his films and stuff. It's the filming that he did during production yeah. and the whole his chronicled whole his life. life. Yeah, I hmm. can't imagine that. Uh, if anybody did a documentary of me, there'd be no footage. I'm filmed nowhere. There's no pictures of me. It's ridiculous. There aren't. Yeah, that's weird. It's just all KUPD stuff. So the only game that's getting any kind of articles or anything written about it is this game called Foreclosed, and it's out today. My name so. is Evan Kapnos. My identity has been foreclosed. Dun, dun, dun. You are in the stalemate, Mr. Kapnos. Until the auctioning, your ID is going to be suspended. Auctioning on the implants we get at birth. Oh, you auction off people's property. identities. Corporations buy the ID debt from the state. It's like cartoon graphics. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. Then you got to fight to get your yeah, own identity back. back. That's kind of neat. It's called foreclosed. It's the, yeah, the only one that's getting any kind of buzz. It's on every major platform. So. Looks a little GTA-ish. A little bit. Um, Why does that say Summer of Gaming 2020? I don't know because it's out today on every list that I saw. Hmm. 
the, when the trailer was announced. Ah, that could be. Um, all right, on Netflix, comedian Phil Wang. Y'all know Phil Wang. Phil Wang. Philly Philly Wang Wang is the name of his special <laughs> on, on Netflix. Give the job of your body to make you happy. It's British. Because right? what is your body? Your body, your body is just a compromise you've made between the lifestyles you want to live at the same time. <laughs> you know? like, what is your body? Your body is just the intersection between your ideal and your effort. Like, this is my body. This is not the body I want. I want a better body. But this is how much I want that body. <laughs> That's funny. It got funny at the end. All right. Uh, also on Netflix, Baked. Baked Squads, season one for Brady. Yeah, calm down, Wheaties. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baked Squad, push, push, push. You got this. I'm Christina Tozzi, the founder of Milk Bar, and I built a squad of four brilliant bakers yes. to battle it out and see whose dessert will be chosen for someone's big day. In my We're new show big. called oh, wait, You, it. Africa, it's going to be Cooking absolutely coffee. tasty and totally unforgettable. Woo! How great is that that homeless shelters in Los Angeles are constantly bombarded with gigantic cakes? <laughs> like, what, what are Here we going to do? Go. Here's another Here's one. another giant fondant they're, rich they're super cake. They're on fondant. Yeah, they're like, I don't want any more fondant. Hey, it's loser cake day. <laughs> yeah, so all the loser cakes show up. It's a towering six-foot cake of donuts and fondant. <laughs> Here, homeless. We're, this is how philanthropic Los Angeles is. We now have cooking shows. Them, giving them all diabetes. Exactly. Yeah, give them the beets and some... And some insulin. No wonder Skid Row can't move. There. How is how is LA's population of homeless so fat? Cooking right. shows. I they can build homes out of the fondant. Yeah. How much oh Hell's God. Kitchen yeah, throws can. away? And they just roll it over there to Paz de Cristo and then here eat. It's like this isn't right. We're worse than you could ever imagine. So I found out last week I missed a big release. It's called The Outer Banks. It's on uh, Netflix. And, like all every teenager watches it. And this is the next one. They've all binged watched the season three of Outer Banks already, so okay. it's already gone. This new one is The Kissing Booth, season three, and I believe it debuts tonight as well on Netflix. Since it's the last, so summer, it's young people. We would be more teenagers than to stay teenagers, here. Another to teenage you look after this house. We Brady, you're going to be in on this. Place. I got to get one and two in. Okay. <laughs> is that Molly Ringworm? Oh my god. Ringworm. Beach house. Oh, they're drunk at the beach house. So it's bad American. Summer pie. at the beach house. Is there nudity? Good morning. Out with it teenagers. Well, they're older the than that. Sunshine. Molly still looks good. What? I think that was it's this girl. List. Oh. A long time ago, Lee and I put together a list of all the crazy things we wanted to do together. Okay, I hate them. I got them out of teenager. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> teenage stuff sucks. I hate them. I hate um, them. What happened to teen romps where you had yeah, sex no with your teacher and there was nudity in the movies? Right. Now they're all just so. It's like uh, we might as well have a Net and Frankie back from the 50s, for God's <laughs> sakes. There's a new limited series coming on Netflix, and it debuts tonight, I believe. Also, uh, Brand New Cherry Flavor is the name of it. Actually, By no, the way, sorry, I wasn't even a teenager when teenage movies were cool. Fast Times at Ridgemont High was aimed at teenagers. It was all about nudity and sex yep. and oh, fun great. and what high school kids used to do. And now these underdeveloped knobs just sit and play. I'm going to Randy's Donuts. We're going to make a sandcastle. Like, you guys suck. This was awesome. This was experimenting with pot and grabbing boobies. And payback, have you me- messed with Lincoln's Camaro? That's Teen right. pregnancies. Yeah. These kids are... We need a bucket list of fun stuff. Oh, good God. It's like Mormons took over entertainment. No interest. What's this? This is a brand new cherry flavor. Loved my movie. Limited series. The truth is I've been looking to take more chances. Maybe you're the chance I've been looking to take. Does that make snuff films or something? Looking that way. You said you could hurt someone for me. What did he do to you? This world is predators and prey. He took the only thing I care about. Say what you want. What the? And I want to set his life on fire. Yeah, all right, cool. Now we're talking. Some guy did something terrible to her. Uh, it's a pedicure. Girl power. Brand new cherry flavor. Brand new okay. cherry flavor. I like it. Uh, new movie out on Netflix, uh, Beckett, starring uh, Denzel's kid. Oh, yeah. One knows where we are. He's great. He is great. 
I didn't know this kid was doing anything. You didn't? He's, no. in, he's been you in, he was a tenant. Oh, wow. He's managed to be the Denzel's... John David Washington. Yeah, he's been, managed to be Denzel's son without being Denzel's son. Right, yeah. that's right, yeah. And he sounds like him, and he kind of looks like him, but good. Like oh, he's fantastic. Oh, okay. There were people in the house. Even Nobody has uh, lived there for years. I saw These are your people, Brett. <laughs> Italian. Look at all those O's. Oh, my God. Those names. This is an Italian movie for real. All right, I'm in. My friend, come out. It's a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, that's how Italians shoot at you. And then they shoot at you yeah. when you come out. Speaking of, the king of your people has resigned. New York Governor Mark Frank Stallone. Uh, Andrew yeah. Cuomo. Ah, <laughs> Frank Stallone is now the new governor of New York. <laughs> Awesome. Exactly right. I didn't expect it. I don't think anybody saw this coming, but Frank Stallone, the new governor of New York. Far from over. It's far from over, Andrew. It's pretty awesome if that's true. I'm sorry. All right, uh, jumping over to Prime Video. Penis Modern films. Love. <laughs> yeah. Modern Love Season 2 is out. Pretty can't get past it. The Prime logo is a yeah. dick. Is that John Snow? Yes. <laughs> Katie, Katie, okay. I'm Alexa. Alexa, I have to warn you about White hey. Walkers. There she is. Cheers. Eight true you stories of love, you. if you want. But I realize I might be coming off like some kind of gross late night guy. You're not gross. All right, that's enough. I, I wish like White Walkers would come and kill all of these people. All right, how about this one? You might like this one. This one's a Taika Waititi joint. I like him. Uh, a season show on Hulu oh, called I Reservation saw Dogs. Preview for this yesterday, this and it looked yeah. hilarious. This looks great. I love And it Taika actually Waititi. came out last night, so you can start streaming it right now. Y'all wouldn't have seen a stolen food truck, would you? Oh. Someone stole a truck. Broad daylight. Put your seatbelt on. Seatbelt. People's safety. We're stealing a f***ing chip I truck. I do not give a shit, man. Put your seatbelt on. We're Jeez. not on. Jesus. First thing on beat. Apparently it was full of chips. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> You're good thieves. Best in town. Oh. All right, they got the uh, the reservation. Yeah, though. watch the trailer; it's more. pretty good. Yeah, that's it's pretty. Is it pretty involved? Yeah, he's the executive producer, Taika Waititi. Yeah, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll wait for that one. Brett, you're that gonna one. like this up here in a All second. Right. There's a couple of uh, uh, Native American rappers. Oh right, I haven't seen that They're yet at of, all. Of diminutive stature. Mm-hmm. Midget Indians rapping. Yeah. Oh, 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 what? Am I in a, a fever dream? <laughs> is this it? No, that's still. You guys watching this? It took me like a month. Okay. Here it is. Make up their minds if they want to be Bloods or Crips more. Maybe they're Blips. Or maybe they're Cruds. Hey. Those are little tiny midget Indians <laughs> in the rapping. Make a whole show of that. <laughs> all right, I may watch this one now. Oh, my eyes are all over there. <laughs> Reservation dogs. Oh. Uh, uh. They right. can't play that in Cleveland. All right. And because everything old is new again, Fantasy Island is coming to Hulu again. I don't Starring know. Starring Rosalind Sanchez. As the Mr. Rourke character. I'm going in. But it's, it looks like half reality. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if it's supposed to be more suspenseful or what. Welcome to Fantasy Island. He still looks good. I don't know who that is. Rosalind Sanchez. What? She's a, a model and actress. Oh. No clue. Almost always for the have Fantasy Island without tattoos. Yeah. Where's... Get one of those little Indians. Yeah. <laughs> one little, two little, three little Indians will do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Guardians. It's never that simple. I know when you're not telling me the truth. All right, so they still have fantasies like Mr. Rourke used to make your fantasy and then like haunt you and say, guard your life. Teach you a lesson. That Rosalind lady's pretty. Rosalind Sanchez, Fantasy Island on Hulu and Fox. Now, uh, you're going to love this, John. Your boy Andy Samberg is back. Okay, next. The final season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. All right, that's enough. We well, you know what that is. Next. <laughs> You're not giving it anything? Nope. All right. Okay, then this is the one we're all really waiting for. Hard Knocks debuts oh, there tonight. It is. Your Dallas Cowboys. Get ready, everybody. America's team's on television. Great Ben DiNucci. Battle it out for yeah. the number He's two He's going to get a lot of screen time in this and first one, right? A lot of screen time. That's right. That's the way it works. Mike McCarthy's got a job for a year. Hard Knock starts tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Brady's friend, Liev Schreiber. Oh, come on, come on. Right. 
It is. I don't care what the team is. It's rarely not entertaining. Oh, Hard Knocks is great. That's tonight. Okay, cool. Uh, movies this weekend. Free Guy Ryan is out Reynolds. with uh, Ryan Reynolds. Exactly right. Ready for that one. Everyone is. Aviation Jim. Is it Aviator? Yes, Aviation Jim. All right, I get it. Next. Okay. Thanks, Van right. Wilder. Yeah. All right, that's it. <laughs> He's Van Wilder. Forever, <laughs> forever <laughs> and ever he'll be Van All right, get to the music. All right. Uh, on uh, the music side of things, it's, uh, again, the countdown just continues because it's nothing. Nothing special not, this not, week. Yeah, there's a few decent ones in there. Pop music? Uh, the ki- yeah. Anything good? The Killer's got a new album coming out, but there, there's no samples available anywhere. Okay. So, which I like the Killers. I do but, too. Uh, yeah, Pressure Machine just comes out on Friday. They just okay. got like these interview things up for them. Oh. Uh, this is Blacktop Mojo. And uh, Wicked Woman is the name of the tune. All right. You got me? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got the wrong thing up. There you go. Blacktop Mojo? Yeah. This one was... They look very Trump 2024 to me. Thank you for saying it. I was going to say there are a lot of patriots (laughs) there in that band. I got no problem with it. Did not expect this <laughs> from looking at, at these guys. That looks like a dude from Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. And he can dance. No, he can't. <laughs> I like this. That's not too bad. Don't bore me. Hit me with the chorus. What is this? It's coming up here. Fat white hillbillies. Yeah, not bad. Uh, kind of crushing. It's not it. bad. Yeah, I like that. What's the name of that band? Blacktop Mojo. Blacktop Mojo. That's a the self-titled album. Dinger. <laughs> Just <laughs> looking at them, you wouldn't have expected. Oh, here we go. Jack Russell have... from no. uh, Great White. Scott. Yeah. Great Zeppelin too. A tribute oh, to Led Zeppelin. Jack. Jack Just Russell's stop. Great White is doing Zeppelin covers. Yep. He could probably pull these off. Pretty well. So is he legally required to say Jack Russell's Great yeah, White? Yes, now? Yes, yes, he is now. Because Great White is Great White. It's the curse of covering Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it, and it, it you can do it, and it sounds good. But it makes me want to listen to Led Zeppelin. Well, Greta Van Fleet does it every album. Who? Greta Van Fleet. Well, Greta Van Fleet doesn't admit to that. Their songs aren't as good. Yeah. If I listen to this, I'm like, oh, I'll just listen to the real one. There's no unique take on it. It's almost. It's almost the Guadalupe Squares of music. It's like I'm just doing impressions. And that's just what I, I, I that's what I hate about covers. If somebody's going to cover something and they make it their own, Give me I'm in. Yeah. But, you know, when you do an exact... Put twisties to it. Yeah, yeah give it Change some twisties. It if you're in a bar and you're covering music, you want to play the way it's played. Right. And you'll impress people with that. But if you're making an album, give it your own spark. That doesn't make any sense to me. Because now all I'm like, well, this isn't what I'm used to. It sounds like a bad version of the real thing. Uh, Sepultura's got a live album hitting out. Uh, this is Apes of God. All right. I used to really like Sepultura. I used to love them, actually. They're, they're live they're at doing the... Their, oh, they're doing their... Oh, everybody's in a different room. Yeah. Because he yells doesn't mean he doesn't like puppies. Everybody likes puppies. <laughs> How dare he? It's just good to see you. Somebody wrote that. Now. Somebody sent me a, I, I don't look at our Facebook or do it with uh, in, uh, social media because I think it's a waste of life and time. But somebody sent me a screenshot of the picture of me holding the puppy. And one of the comments somebody said was, even radio's biggest asshole has a soft spot for, yeah. for puppies. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I hate people. Right. I absolutely love dogs. Uh, Lorna Shore, their uh, EP, And I Return to Nothingness, hits uh, stores. This is To the Hellfire. This is kind of Marcus music. Okay. And we'll jump up a little bit here. What's that guy doing? Can he hear the music? <laughs> What's happening here? 
plumbing exploded. <laughs> Call Travis from Moon Valley. We got problems. Yeah, the plumbing's gone bad. Do any of them hear each other? That's, play that's five the intro, things. right? Yeah. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I think this is the chorus. When does it start? How do you know if you like it? She's just 16 years old. So there you go. That's, that's a uh, Lorna Shore. There's a lot going on there. Oh, here comes hey, Marcus. look at this. Oh, the specialist. Lorna Shore. What's Lorna Shore, Marcus? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> You play that? Yikes. Oh, good God. No wonder the suicide rate goes up on Sunday. <laughs> uh, Slaughter to Prevail. We're get, we get a lot of requests for this on the Wake Up song. Russian? Yep. All right. This might not be bad. I like Russian stuff. I don't know what that last thing was. This has some composition to it. I'm into this one. It's at least a range. I'm pretty sure there's that one. That's about it. Good range. Uh, Good range. The Ugly Kings. This is Strange, Strange Times. Okay. Quickly. All right. Yeah, you got to go. This one took forever. Blacktop mojo? No. Okay. Looks like it. Looks like they're it's shaved blacktop mojo. Did the singer forget his lyric sheet? We're two minutes in. Now they're Queens of the Stone. Alright, right, we're a minute 24 and he hasn't said anything. Oh, it's Queens of the Stone. Like it if it wasn't yeah, so that's the Queens Ugly of Kings. The and of course, the one we talked about, no release date on the album as yes. of yet, but uh, this is uh, Pain is Forever. This is a new one from Terror. That Ride just your bike faster. Oh, this makes me want to just pedal. This is so good. I love Terror on the bike. We played this for the wake up song. Done done. We'll point and run in. I'm walking by another useless thought. My spirit severed. Pain is forever. And that album's got to come out of the show. Love that song. Love Terror. So, and that's about it. My bike riding stuff. All right, there you go. Let's get the heck out of here. There's uh, your hot releases. Brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eat, eat, repeat. That's what I say. They say, what is it? Mesquite, meat, mesquite, repeat? Or is it mesquite, Something meat? Like eat, mesquite, repeat. Eat? No, oh, I don't think you eat yeah. first. Mm, eat mesquite. The, <laughs> meat, mesquite, repeat. <laughs> Uh, I was just talking to Anthony this morning about stuff. Eric's family, BBQ.com, for the best barbecue in town. Hands down, that turkey thing has me craving more. It was unreal, that thing he brought in last week. It was outstanding. Brady, I'm glad your restaurant's out of business because this place would have done it. (laughs) Eric's family barbecue in Avondale. Check it out. Uh, Eric's family, BBQ.com. If uh, entertainment drill coming up. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. That's a joke, right? You're, You're joking? You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.